Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Shannon Moore snubs. Now the host of uh, tech, co-host of Techzilla with my old buddy Patrick Norton. How do you find working with Patrick? Oh, it's great. Is he He's a horrible bro- person. <laughs> Has he broken out the sledgehammer yet? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it's so it's so fun. I'm just thrilled that you're doing that with him. And Techzilla, T E K Z I L L A dot com, and of course it's on Revision Three. Um, this is a pretty big laptop you've got here, Lassie. It's yeah. the Acer Aspire E1. Tell us about it. This is. So it's a desktop replacement, obviously. It's large. It weighs a little less than five pounds total. and it's a, Oh, that's not that heavy. Yeah, it's not not bad, For to be honest. A, something of that uh, size. Very plasticky, so definitely <laughs> cheap. Uh, the total price of this version that I have is $599.99, mm-hmm. $600. But you can find them for as little as Three ninety nine total, so pretty decent price. Definitely budget friendly if you're looking for something to replace an older laptop. Uh, this one, one thing to mention is the battery life. It was only about four hours on this, so you're not going to be traveling with this very much, especially since it weighs quite a bit as well. And it's large; it's fourteen inches. The screen is. Um, one thing to notice about the screen too, especially when you go to the start menu, no touch screen. Surprise. Oh. That drives me nuts with Windows 8. Yeah, Windows really wants touch. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 a necessary item when you're coming to Windows 8. But frankly, it's one of the things that's often left out on these low price. It is, yes. All the right? comparative models that you have on the market right now from Lenovo and from Dell and everything else, all of them are, have no touch screen when they're yeah. around that $400 to $600 price. They usually range. have lousy screens, too. How's the screen? They do, this? yeah. This one is, uh, it can only go up to 720p. It's 1366 by 768. Mm. So so it's pretty low, yeah. I'm kind of spoiled with my newer laptops these days, and I, I prefer something at least higher than that, at least 1920 by 1080. But your newer laptops cost twice as much. That's true. That's the difference, yeah. right? If you the, want uh, something under a thousand bucks, you're going to get the right, smaller right. resolution. This would be so. Let's think of the market for this. Who would this be for? Uh, this could be for a student. Yeah. It could be for somebody on a low budget, somebody right. who doesn't have a full time job, for example. There are a lot of Windows XP users who mm-hmm. have. They just use it a little casually. Exactly. They just want to yeah. surf, do some they email. They want to go to Facebook. And they don't. And they look at the computer prices. They say, I can't spend justify twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. Would this be a good choice, maybe? This would be, yeah. So um, one thing I was thinking about when I was checking this out is I look for budget laptops for Linux Mint. Mint doesn't oh. require a lot of space. It's also very user-friendly when it comes to a non-touchscreen device. This would be complimentary for me to use Linux on. So I would replace Windows 8.1 and just switch to Linux full time. Or I could dual boot as well, but I don't really like dual booting myself. Um, one thing to mention as well, this would be good for somebody who takes a lot of pictures, like your your mother or a, a person with a baby or something like Why that. Why is that? It has a 500 gig hard drive uh, instead of a smaller solid big, state drive. Yeah. So it's plenty of space for anybody who needs that. However, the boot time is a lot slower because of that hard drive. Sure. So quite a bit slower. Uh, it does have pretty, pretty decent insides though as well. It has an NVIDIA GeForce 820M uh, graphics. I'm surprised to hear that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> huh. It's kind of weird, huh? It also has uh, eight gigs of memory instead of just four, so quite a bit of memory. So it's still Plenty there. of processing power as well. It has a core i5 Haswell processor. So lots of good specs on the inside. It also has all the ports that you would need as well. It has, let's see, HDMI, VGA, USB 3.0, has an Ethernet port as well, which is great. And it has two more USB 2.0 on the other side. No optical disc though. No optical optical disc, yes. That's so it's true. not quite a desktop replacement. Or not maybe quite. nowadays we don't care. That's true. Yeah. yeah. We're using a lot more USB flash drives right. and things of that nature. Right. So it could definitely replace that. Ozzy, what do you think? Is the Acer E1 uh, do you like it, Ozzy? a good deal? <laughs> he says, hey, buddy. No, but I'll take that nature box <laughs> off your hands if he you He looks want. hungry. <laughs> um, all right. How about the keyboard? Uh, the keyboard the was pad. good. Yeah, it's a yeah. full keyboard. I found this really interesting. Some of the newer Acer models, the Ultrabooks, they have squished keyboards. Yes. They, the page up and page down are right above the arrow keys. Right. And the tilde key is squished right here next to the caps lock. They have spaced out everything really well for you, especially if you have larger fingers or if you have larger hands. You have plenty of room. I actually found it a little bit harder because I'm used to chiclet keyboards. Yeah. So it was harder for me to remember that I need to move a lot 
more. Uh, the touchpad as well is pretty good. It's very responsive, so really good touchpad. And you have a right and left clicker at the bottom that is separate, so you're not going to accidentally click those. And it's very quick. I ve very much liked it. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Pros. It includes all the ports that you would ever need. It's less than five pounds, which is pretty good for a desktop replacement, and it has a great keyboard and touchpad. On the con side, though, it does have a super slow boot up. There is no touch screen. If you are looking for a touch screen device, you're going to have to spend a little bit more. Uh, the 1366 by 728 or 768 screen is definitely low res, especially in this day and age. Again, that's something that you'll end up spending more for. And low battery life and much bloatware. There are plenty of extra things that are, see, there I go, trying to touch the screen. Yeah, you did, I, I saw that. that. Wow. I do that every time. All right. But if I scroll over, there's a bunch of stuff that is pre-installed for well, you when you You'd expect this. that, unfortunately. Yeah. So I'd replace it all with yeah, Linux. We, we don't think that's a good thing. It's not <laughs> like you're getting some great free stuff. It's usually just kind of trial wear and Exactly. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of comparative models on, on the market. Like I said, there's a Dell Inspiron 15. That one costs around 400 bucks. There's also a Lenovo uh, Z40 Touch that we'll be releasing pretty soon this month. And that one's going to be $600. So that's going to be the same price. And it's going to have very competitive comparative specs as well. Okay. So given the fact that there are so many on the market and they're all pretty much the same right now, I would have to give this a try. Maybe buy, maybe don't buy. Really for the, if it's, 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 it's for who it is. It's, That's yeah. what matters. And yep. I think try is a good choice for that because it not, isn't for exactly. everyone, but for some people this might be uh, enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Acer, you know, does the high end stuff and does they the do. low end stuff. They have and, the Acer Aspire uh, S7, which is beautiful. You and I love the S7. Yes. And so does Mary Jo Foley. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, th this is a nice, high, but it's 12 1300 bucks. It's a nice high-end laptop. Yes. I've never been really blown away by Acer's inexpensive stuff, but this seems, if you, you understand what you're getting for the price. Yes, exactly. A try from Shannon Moore, Snubs, our producer and uh, regular host on TechZilla.